everyone, it's Sarah. No, it's not. It's Nicole, but today on the Crafty Maven Getaway, it's Scrap Lift Saturday. And Sarah and I, Sarah Swan and I, are both um, designers for today. So we decided to scrap lift each other. So I just love the way she opens her video. So I thought I'd pretend it was her for a minute. You know, it's Scrap Lift Saturday. So I thought I'd scrap lift her the way she opens too. And um, if you haven't, uh, I'm going to be uploading my video to Crafty Maven Getaway and also on my private YouTube channel. So if you haven't uh, checked out Sarah, go check her out on YouTube. Her name is Sarah Swan. I love her. Love her. She is um, by far one of my favorite uh, YouTube YouTubers for scrapbooking. I watch her every day and she doesn't upload every day, but I watch her every day. So I go back and watch some, you know, some older stuff she put up and, and uh, I knew I wanted to scrap lift this one here, this page here that she did and it was actually a year ago and I couldn't find it because I was looking at the titles and I knew it had to do with favorite shows or, uh, you know, something to do with watching a lot of shows on TV or Netflix and um, I couldn't find it so and and I searched for quite a bit she has like 170 videos or something so it you know it was it's quite the list to go through so I ended up just messaging her and saying you know the one where you <laughs> you did all your favorite shows I want to scrap lift that one so um, she directed me right to it and it was exactly a year ago so what I did was I went on Google and I googled all the shows that this is probably some of the so shows that I binged in the last year um, some of them I watched from episode one to the very last one because there were shows that were already done or some of the shows here were uh, newer but the whole season was done or the couple seasons were done and I watched them from one to the end and I'll give you uh, some of the titles here in a little bit. But so what I did is I I Google the show and I let's say if it was uh, Suits. So I say Suits TV show photos. And then once I would go on there, I would look for the smallest one that was vertical. And I found those were the best ones to print with um, my Canon selfie. And I would choose with um, the PicFrame app, I would choose the one that was two and then on the options, you need to change your options too. And I changed my options to the ratio four, three. And I found that ratio worked perfectly for two pictures and um, it wasn't blurry and it fit perfectly. So I, I printed two per four by six and I didn't even print off all of my favorites but it was too much for one page. So what I decided to do, I went into my stash and I got, I have the Dear Lizzie documentary, the 48 pack, and I got a second sheet of this. And by the way, to create this layout, I use a September hip kit because I'm quite a bit behind my kits and I wanna make sure that I, um, I get to use them. So this is like the second layout that I've done with the September kit. You would have seen a layout yesterday. This is going up on Saturday the 24th. So this uh, is the second layout and I'm just going to do a couple more and then I'm going to move on to the October because I've already ordered the November kit and I want the October kit done before the November kit gets here. So kind of fast forwarding on these uh, hip kits and uh, Going forward, I'm not going to be buying as many add-ons for the hip kits so that I can, because I'm only going to do about four kit, four layouts a month. So the September kit had a lot of stuff from the um, Dear Lizzie documentary, so I, I and also the Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers. So a lot of that stuff is from that kit. And if you want to know what was in that kit, just go to Friday. The September hip kit will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. 
Now, the Crafty Maven Getaway is a channel where there's a whole bunch of YouTubers that um, Hannah Lemieux and a few others kind of put this YouTube channel together and Facebook group. And every day there's something different. So if you want to check that out, all the the info for that channel will be in the description below. And every day something different. And today is Scrap Lift Saturday. So like I said, me and Sarah were both on today. And we decided to scrap lift each other. And this page, uh, like she, I, I had said, she had done a year ago. And it was to sort of kind of keep um, a memory or document, I guess would be a better word. You know, the shows that we liked in a specific year. So in 2015, um, and like I said, I didn't put everything here, but I I think there's 12. Yes, 12, 12 of them. And those are shows that I've kind of binged watch and a lot of them since January. A lot of them were at the end of the year last year, but most of them are this year. And um, right now what I'm doing is a lot of times what I do is um, I bring in a six by six paper pad that coordinates a lot with the kit and this time I could have chosen Dear Lizzie documentary or the Amy Tangerine Finders Keeper and the only reason I chose Dear Lizzie is because it was right next to me and I just grabbed it and there was a sheet that was all little circles so I punched out the circles and I'm going to use them on this uh, page. I did take out some um, die cuts from the Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers and that was in the kit. Now I'm using some Dear Lizzie Thickers and I'm going to I'm going to spell the whole title with the heart thickers and then I'm going to change it up because it was just too much. And if you know me, I'm not a big fan of gold. I'm, it's warming up. I'm using it more and more but uh, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to bring in some other letters. I did use a film strip washi tape and that was from Bo Bunny from a, a couple years back but I still love it and I decided to use that one instead of the one that I got at Michael's because it is blue and there's a lot of navy in um, the collection so I wanted to use blue instead of black and it wasn't as harsh and it was thinner too. It was like a quarter inch instead of half inch and I like that a whole better a whole lot better and um, I just ended up adding it four strips and then I'm kind of hanging the pictures off of that. Now I'm going to add um, pattern papers and I'm just using the six by six and again not to conserve pattern papers because uh, yes before I always tried to kill the kit and I tried to make as many pages as I could. Now I'm just going to do four pages a month but I am going to bring forward whatever I have left over in embellishments and pattern papers because you know I'm not going to have as many things uh, from month to month to month so I am going to end up using a lot of the wood veneer I'm going to use the word magic the word best the word fave and then on the right side because I didn't I could have printed more pictures I just didn't want to because I was down court down to a crunch you know as always um uh, so i'm going to use uh i'm going to make an embellishment cluster with using a tag and some rub-ons and a three by four project life card and then i'm going to use two huge wood veneer one that says love and the other one's smaller but it says story and um I had only, she had done a one page layout, but because I had printed way more pictures, I decided to do a two page spread. This layout took me about an hour and 15 minutes to complete, which is not bad because it's a two page spread. So, um, and lately my brain is going towards a two page spread because I'm working on a new class, which is going to be a class about two page layouts and if you 
don't know if you're new to my channel, I just released a class last week and the link to my website is also going to be below and go check it out. Uh, it's five and a half hours of videos. There's 26 videos. The class is $20. So that's less than a dollar per video and a lot of information right from it's called stretch your kit and it's right from putting the kit together to completing 18 layouts. So we complete eight, 18 layouts together. But anyway, on to this layout. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my obsession with shows. Now I'm the type of personality that I cannot start a show midway. I can't. I got to start it from the beginning. So years ago, if I didn't catch a show from the beginning, I didn't watch it because I needed to see it from the beginning. Well, now with Netflix and Show Me and, you know, all these other places that offer that you can watch shows from the beginning, it's hope opened a brand new world for me. So I go back and I watch shows, even though they're done, I don't care. I love watching shows and I love them more than movies. And I'll tell you why, because a movie, it's two hours, you get totally involved with these characters and then it's done. I hate that compared to shows that last you know, some of them up to 10 years and you get to know the characters and love the characters and sort of invest <laughs> into the characters, but it lasts forever. So here are some, and the title is going to be Best Shows on TV because right now these are some of my favorites. Again, I couldn't put everything, but right now, the way I felt on October 24th, 2015, these are some of my favorite shows that I've watched in the last year. The Flash, and that only had one season, but I think I devoured it in like a week. Bloodline, same thing. I watched it in less than a week. Suits, there's like, I think it's on the fifth or sixth season, and I hadn't watched it, so I watched it from the beginning. Oh, loved it. The 100 only has two seasons, but loved it. The third season should be starting soon if it hasn't already started. What I usually do is I wait till the season is done because I don't like waiting a week <laughs> and watching the next one. Scandal. Love it. This I think this fifth or sixth season has just begun. But again, I'm probably going to wait till the season is over or at least a lot in before I start watching it white collar there was five or six seasons of that it is done but i i don't mind watching shows like that because then you watch it from season one till the end one of my favorite shows of all time loved it bones 10 season starting season 11 watched it from <laughs> season one to now parenthood oh, probably my favorite 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 show of all times that, that show, you cry, you laugh, you have every emotion possible in that show. And that is done. And I, I have to say, I cried and cried and cried when it ended. Um, just the way it ended. It did end on a positive note at the end. But oh my goodness, there was some sad stuff. Uh, the next page, Nashville, which I am not a country fan, <laughs> I have to say. But love that show and the reason I watch Nashville is because I watch Friday Night Lights and a coach Taylor's wife is in Nashville and the reason I watch Friday Night Lights is because I watch Bloodline and Sarah which which is kind of funny because she's a big influence uh, because I love her on YouTube for scrapbooking but she also um, got me hooked on a lot of shows TV shows so it's funny how and um, she also has a um, booktube channel and I'll try to remember to link everything down below so you can go check her out and I used to be a big reader and I haven't read in a long time and this summer I've bought a few books so I'm hoping that I can start reading again so not only do I love her you know on YouTube but she <laughs> has influenced me a lot in we have the same taste in shows so um that was one of the ones that she had mentioned I'm like oh yeah I want to watch that so I went and watched it and because of that I watched Nashville and then Witches of East End which that is done it only had two seasons but I loved it and then Person of Interest oh, 
love that too. So I'm, like I said, I probably watch way too much TV, but I don't watch it downstairs sitting on the couch. I watch a few shows like that. I watch maybe one show a night, but I do a lot of night, sh night shifts. So I'm a lot at work and, um, but there's a few shows that I watch me and my husband and none of them are on here. This is all shows that I watch by myself, but there's a ton more that I love that I didn't even uh, put on here. This is a lot of shows that I binge watch by myself and I'll probably do uh, another layout, something like this that me and my hubby uh, watch together. So be watching for that. I'll be doing a show and that's going to be fun. I didn't stamp the date on this. But I'm, I'm going to because this is 2015, you know, 14, 15, what I've watched, that's 12 shows. So if you haven't gone ahead and, you know, watch some of these shows, you need to watch them. They're amazing. And I'm on, a, you know, I only watch one show at a time except for the shows that I watch with my husband. Um, I'll watch an entire show. And then if there's some shows that I'm up to date what I'll do is once I'm done a whole show, because it, it, it's hard for me to start a new show. Uh, it's like starting a new book. It's hard for me to get into one. So then what I'll do, if I'm up to date on, let's say, person of interest, I'll go and I'll catch up. And people at work tease me because I have a book and I have all the shows that I watch written. I'm at the, you know, the season that I watch and the episode, the last episode that I watch because if I don't do that, then when I come back, it takes me a long time to figure out where I'm at. So I know, silly, but I have to because there's so many that I watch. And while I am creating new YouTube channel for you guys to watch, that is what I'm doing. I'm watching YouTube channel, YouTube um, TV shows um, while I'm scrapping. So that is why, you know, I get to watch a lot of TV shows because I scrap a lot <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so now I took out some washi tape I love that booklet of washi tape from Dear Lizzie documentary and I'm going to use a couple I used puffy stickers from the Dear Lizzie documentary I used some wood buttons and uh, some Amy Tangerine die cuts some tags and I think the wood veneer came from Amy Tangerine. I know the enamel hearts were from Amy Tangerine. And I love getting a two-page spread done because you get so many pictures on there. So I got 12, um, 12 pictures. I might just, I'm, I'm going to put the date for sure. And then uh, above the title there I'm going to do a little bit of journaling and talk about how when I create you know YouTube um, videos uh, I binge watch a lot of these shows and I am loving every single one of them and I'm going to put the year 2000 some most of them I watch in 2015 but some of them is was right at the end of 2014 and that's it. And don't forget to go check out Sarah Swan and also the Crafty Maven Getaway where they upload a new video every day of the week. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're new, if you're catching me on Crafty Maven Getaway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.